Buongiorno e benvenuti, I'm Stephanie Smith from Lion Eyed Luxury Real Estate and I'm here today to show you this majestic castle. Check it out! We are on Lago Bilancino a soli 30 km dalla città di Firenze. È il posto perfetto durante la stagione estiva per raffrescarsi. Let me tell you from my personal experience, I've been here during the summer months and watching the sunset on the water is breathtaking. Only five minutes from Il Lago del Bilancino and we are in one of the three entrances to the property. Look at this beautiful Cypress Road. Inoltre, siamo a 20 minuti dall'autodromo del Mugello che ospita la Formula 1 e il MotoGP. In 1915, the estate was bought by the Doppler's family, in particular Louis Doppler's, which is the nephew of Edmund Doppler's, the known founder of Nestlé. The family came to Il Mugello with the aim of reinstating farmland and reintegrating pine forests. Also, they created this beautiful Italian style garden for leisurely walks during their free time. From the Italian style garden, now we are in this cute little theater, perfect for celebrating events such as weddings, because you have a wonderful view both on your guests and on the prestigious castle in the background. When entering the walls of the castle, we are greeted by these two majestic Lebanese ciders, as well as a functioning but dismissed well, and two original Etruscan tombs. The castle is 5,000 square meters and comprises the actual castle, the Limonaia, and a small cluster of buildings called Il Borgo. The estate is spread over 60 hectares that comprises an Italian style garden, farmland, a private lake for irrigation purposes, as well as two bed and breakfasts. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications to see more videos like this one. Now, come with me. Originally, this space used to be a private chapel, but when the Dapos family acquired the property, they transformed it into the Limonaia that it is today. Right now, we are in the main hall of the castle. It's important to know that the estate is protected by the Ministry of Fine Arts. The majestic and lavishing finishings in the room are all original, such as the beautiful frescoes on the wall, the covered wooden ceilings, and the stone fireplace. The room is used to host events such as parties and weddings and in the colder months, they turn on the fireplace. Just think of what a romantic atmosphere it creates. Also, this grand fireplace is so big that I can actually fit inside it. Ta-da! But now, let's go and check out the bedrooms. From the main hall, we are accessing the first bedroom with its own private bathroom. 
What I love about this castle is that it's nestled within nature. So from every room, you can hear the birds singing. This is one of the bedrooms on the first floor. I wanted to show you this bedroom in particular because it's the only one with its original furniture. It has its own private bathroom, as well as a beautiful view on the internal courtyard. This was the original dining area. In fact, there are two details that caught my attention immediately, such as the grapes and the wine pitchers that frame the wooden ceilings and the radiator, which has an opposite space to keep dishes warm. We can call it a old style oven. <laughs> Other than that, there is this beautiful marble fireplace, which still works today, and a direct access to the internal court. The internal court is a common area to many rooms of the castle. Also, it's the only point where we can actually access the original walls and watchtower. Here we have the original inhabitant of the castle. He's been here for over 70 years. Isn't he cute? The castle has medieval origins. It belonged to the Catani family who decided to build it because it was in a strategic position on a hilltop between Bologna and Florence. It was ideal for collecting tolls, but also for controlling the area. We are inside the winter garden right now, which in origin was actually a terrace because it was all open and closed up in a second moment. I love how bright and how much natural light filters in through the windows. It's the perfect place to host guests and has a direct access to the internal court that we saw before. The attention to detail in this room is exquisite, such as the wooden painted ceilings and the elements on the walls which were carved and then painted. That is true craftsmanship. We are in the cantina as every respectable castle has. The wine production was active until the 70s. This is the perfect place that can be transformed for wine tastings, oil, olive oil tastings, or aperitivi. Legend goes that in this space, there's actually a secret passage that takes us from the castle directly to town. They still haven't found the entrance, but maybe if you buy the castle, you can find it. We are in the farmland, exactly between the two bed and breakfasts. And behind me is the lake for irrigation. Just think, with this castle comes all of this. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. We have exciting properties coming up, so don't forget to subscribe and keep on watching our channel. Ciao.